stand against that wall where it's all new media? Well, yeah, sure. Anywhere you like. So we're at the New Media Film Festival, and your name is Zach? Zach Ruber. Zach Ruber. Yeah. How do you, I spell that? Ru uh, G-R-U-B-E-R is my last name. Gruber. My first name is X-A-Q-U-E. X-A-Q-U-E. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm glad I asked. Pronounced Zach. Awesome. So um, the New Media Film Festival, what's the main agenda, like, on the table? Do you know? Uh, the New Media Film Festival, which is in its second year, organized by Susan Johnston, mm -hmm. is um, sort of this wonderful coming together of all different types of filmmakers who either create films in a new way or, um, you know, somehow either with their camera, with their filmmaking style, with their with the kind of film that they yeah. use. Some people, they are shooting films on iPhones. I mean, right, <laughs> totally. they're doing, it's breaking the old ways of thinking yeah. and creating a new way of filmmaking Wow! and communicating with audiences. It's very cool. And you're part of the process. Are you a writer or is... I'm a writer. That's what I... Yeah. And I write for television and film. Yeah. So small screen, big screen. I also write for magazines and which yeah. is considered old media. Old media, now, right. Now magazines. Yeah. Well, I'm considering WikiLeaks media. old media. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like in terms of revolution after revolution. Yeah. Like... Yeah. My question I got cut off, maybe you want to answer, like, or like I wanted to, I like raised my hand at the last second, uh, but I was like, what about the monetization of WikiLeaks and the Arab Spring revolutions? Like, where is Hollywood, does anyone have the scoop on that? Because DreamWorks has bought some WikiLeaks property. Oh. And like, I'm just kind of wondering, like, why not look at that as like a positive new media potential to like tap in on the pulse of something That's big? That's very cool. Yeah. Like yeah. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah, or like, what's your WikiLeaks movie going to be, you know? I know, uh, well... Yeah. Or know, reality TV we, show. Or, the success of the social yeah. network. Right, I exactly. Like that's absolutely... Viable. Fair range, yeah. 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 Well, and you know, uh, another thing that I'm always thinking of is the Millennium Trilogy. The, the uh, um, like, Numi Rapaz and the Swedish... They, they're working oh, on the, yeah. the Americanized version of that. Oh, and cool. it, it also has Atticus, Ross, and Trent Reznor on the soundtracking. Oh, cool. Which I was really excited about that, because when people... People are like, ah, oh, yay, the social network. I'm like, oh, it's all soundtrack to me. Like, I'm a music person. Like, I could be oh. blind to the visual and the oh, dialogue, wow. but it's more like mood and atmospherics. And that's where I think, like, I don't know. I'm talking now. You no, talk. I, th I think the social network part of the magic of it was the music. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You know, you know what was so funny is Trent in like TechCrunch and stuff. He was like completely dissing Facebook. He was like, oh, Facebook, blah, Facebook, this. <laughs> and I'm like, he's famous where he can say anything he wants, really, and yeah. he can still keep his contract and make and awesome. make it awesome <laughs> yeah and that's where hmm hmm what do you think of the panel today today well what did you like yeah I really um, wasn't sure how it was going to work. Yeah. And I'd never met any of those guys before. Yeah. And I came away loving them all. Yeah. I thought they all had interesting viewpoints and right. to be there. And very diverse. Yeah. Susan at the end said you could collectively make a movie. Yeah. Because you had a music guy, a writer, an executive producer, a Panasonic guy, and the one next to me who seems to be a jack of all trades. So there was all this yeah. talent and uh, diversity kind of ways of looking at yeah. media and and I really like them and I, I love the moderator and um, it was a good vibe it ended all of a sudden and I thought oh there's so much more oh there's so much more to say yeah it was like the tip of the iceberg wow and what about um, I like the guy who did the uh, the 95 internet stuff like he's a pioneer of that oh, yeah. video blog streaming which I think that's cool. just it's like gone so exponential in the last year or a year or two I know so he was way ahead of his time I just had lunch with a friend of mine and I said you know Andy Warhol in the 60s would take his camera and just turn it on people getting dressed in his apartment or smoking or drinking. Right, 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 right. And, and, he, and he would show these little homemade films uh, and theaters. Yeah. And they, and they didn't have any any storyline. No. But it was almost like he was saying, this is the new narrative. The and existential, the fragmented, 60s. yeah. And now people are doing that now. Now, with like the, all the video blog and, platforms, and, and with yeah. with their own flip cameras. Oh, totally, yeah. And just making these random things. Random as hell, yeah. It everywhere 
and I'm, and and it is new media. It's cyborgian. So like I we're all like, uh, ahead of yeah, totally. I think way so. Ahead of his way time. ahead of his time. Yeah, Bamboozer is one of my video streaming favorites. It's like a Swedish video blogging platform that's embeddable in blogs. But when I was what, the question about social TV, that really threw me because I was like thinking, oh, chat roulette, Skype, like all those things where you are interacting with your TV well, there's, experience. There's, I mean, social television, which really is, is that still it? in the making. Yeah. It's basically um, whoever is in their garage right now and putting it together, which will be the next Facebook. Um, uh -huh. Aha, yeah, 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 I think where it's like, it's, ba it's basically yeah, yeah. connect with all your like-minded friends. Let's uh -huh. say you all love RuPaul's Drag Race. Right. And we'll all be watching it together in all different locations around. Commenting. Country, commenting through either a video blog or, or chat, or video blog like a or however they're gonna do it. Chat interface, so like a conference call. It, Whoa, that. Thank you, because like a states, yeah. Maybe countries. I don't know. Yeah. It's going to be a whole new, new way of watching television. Social television. It's called social television. Okay, because the concept was lost on me a little bit, but that's more what I had. Nobody really explained it that way. Like that was a total. Yeah, just for because that's what I was thinking, and I, I was kind of wondering should've. what is everybody talking about I when. Yeah, that's really helpful. But um, I guess I thought the audience knew what it was. Well, <laughs> probably they do, because I can be a little out of touch sometimes. No, 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 no. Actually, yeah. you seem very in touch. <laughs> you know? I'm at the New Media and, Film and Festival. So social television, yeah. even though it sounds like a big mysterious term, yeah. is actually going to be a real thing. Yeah. That is still in the process of being created. Right. And yeah. Somewhere right now. Right. Is working on the actual machinery of it. Yeah, totally. And it's going to be. Uh, it's not going to be big. It's going to be huge. Yeah. It's going to be what people.